Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Nexus Chats. Um, today we have Riaz. We're going to be talking about the Nexus CLI and um, what the CLI is, how people can use the CLI, and why the CLI is an important tool um, for Nexus. So with that in mind, Riaz, um, why don't we just get started and um, maybe talk, us, talk to us about um, what a CLI is in the first place before we get into how people can use it with Nexus. Sounds great. Yeah, CLI stands for command line interface. And so there are a number of other command line interfaces, other CLIs that if you're a developer, you may have used before, uh, whether it's Docker or another program, but essentially allows you to run Nexus ZKVM on your local machine in your terminal, in addition to what you would expect using the Nexus OS on your web browser and a way to connect to Nexus. Cool. And so what are some some reasons like um, someone would, would go through the, the process of setting up a CLI? Like why, why use a CLI? Right. Good question. So the CLI really enables not only, it's really easy to install, so anyone can use it, but it also really enables our power users to really optimize how they connect to the Nexus network and provide even more compute or multiple nodes beyond what they would be able to with the Nexus OS. So if you have multiple servers that you want to run Nexus nodes on, you want to be able to run the Nexus CKVM without having to have a web browser and have it run in the background, that's where the CLI is able to run the Nexus CKVM, connect to the network, uh, and allow you to manage multiple nodes in more, more custom ways of setting up your connection and compute power to the Nexus network. So one thing that we um, we just want to make clear is that there we're, we're talking about two different ways to join or contribute to Nexus, right? So on one hand, we have the Nexus OS, which is a, um, a web interface. You can join that through, um, you know, just go to app.nexus.xyz. Uh, really straightforward. Click one button, connect a wallet. Um, you can start contributing and compute, earning rewards right there. And then what we're talking about today with the CLI is similar in that you contribute compute, you earn rewards, you can um, kind of monitor that whole process, but um, the you have this like uh, additional piping, if you will, or additional plumbing that helps you with um, heavier compute loads. And so maybe real quick, we can just kind of compare and contrast um, like use cases for the um, the Nexus OS versus the Nexus CLI. like. Um, what would be um, examples of, of like using one or the other or, or like how would you go through that um, process of deciding which one to use? Totally. With the web app, with Nexus OS, super easy to use, as you mentioned, able to just go to the website, click the button, and you're connected to the network. Obviously, it requires you to have a browser open. And uh, while you get all the benefits of viewing the activity on the network, Maybe you just want to connect multiple servers or a custom configuration to the network or provide even more compute than what your browser would be able to provide. And that's where the CLI gives you that customizability and flexibility. And while the web is super easy, don't get me wrong, the CLI is actually also super easy. And maybe I can show you what it looks like just to, to, for those who haven't used it before. Yeah, that'd be so great. I'll share, I'll share my screen. Cool. I got a little terminal here. And so if you go to our website on the, the docs page, there'll be an install command uh, that basically just pulls pulls down the CLI and installs it on your laptop or your local machine. So here I'm just going to run it. Uh, can accept the terms of use. It's going to install super easy. And then you get this kind of prompt that you can start the Nexus CLI. And I'm just going to do Nexus network start in this case. If you have a node ID already, you can provide that. But in this case, I'm just going to not provide one um, and just connect uh, anonymously. And it'll boot up. We see Nexus. And I'm off to the races. So I'm, I'm computing uh, in proofs and providing computes to the network. Uh, you can see in this case, I haven't provided a node. But if I did, I'd have the node ID here. Uh, you can see the stats of my, my compute and the cores that I'm contributing, the RAM. Um, and you can just see my progress as I go along. If there were edit, you know, errors, you would see that as well. But it looks like everything is going going great. And so super easy to get started. Of course, 
If you have more configuration you want to use, you can provide different arguments to the CLI. We have that in our documentation. Um, happy to answer that later as well. But really easy, and then ideally can get you get you up and running super quick. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, it should. I I want to share a story that I um, just recently um, joined Nexus using the CLI. Um, started contributing compute, and um, you know, as someone who hasn't used Terminal before. Um, or, or really felt kind of uncomfortable at first. It was really a simple experience. So I just want people to, um, hopefully, if if it feels like unfamiliar, uncomfortable, like it's you follow the um, the documentation, and um, you know you can troubleshoot little issues along the way. One thing I learned, for example, is when you do add your uh, node ID to not have the the brackets around it. That that was like a simple fix. But once I figured that out, um, it was all set up and ready to go. So. Um, if it feels, if some of the language or some of the um, technologies you have to use feel kind of like unfamiliar, it's actually a great way to get started and, and kind of learn a, a new way to uh, to connect and contribute. So with that in mind, um, I'm kind of wondering if maybe we could walk through some um, either hypothetical use cases for the CLI or um, or, or maybe partners we work with or or um, you know, community contributors that you are aware of that are using the CLI. Anything come to mind just to kind of uh, paint a clearer picture for people of like how the CLI might work um, in different different scenarios? For sure. For the CLI, we have a number of members in the community who are running multiple nodes to provide compute to the Nexus network, and they use the CLI to actually run those nodes um, on their servers that they have in their own cloud instances or data centers. You also have a number of partners that are either running nodes, like I mentioned, with the community, or uh, a number of partners who have used the CLI to build essentially tools to help make running nodes even easier, where the CLI is behind the scenes helping orchestrate and run the nodes, but our partners maybe help package uh, that in an easier to use configuration for other other community members or ecosystem partners to use. And so the CLI is at the heart of providing more compute to the network in a way that is more scalable and easier to configure than the web Nexus OS. Granted, it still an, also provides compute and super easy to use and a beautiful UX, but when you want to use you know more configurable setup or more servers, that's where the CLI really comes in handy. Yep, cool. Um, and one thing, um that we wanted to mention is is um, before we, I, I forget, is that uh, you can find all the documentation um, about the CLI and how it works and, and more information at um, docs.nexus.xyz. So that's one place to get started. And then if you want to kind of dig into the code and understand a little bit more about um, what's going on behind the scenes, you can find information at the Nexus um, GitHub, which is available at nexus.xyz. That's right, um, yeah. All of this CLI code is open source. On that note, the code is open source. Feel free to take a look and, you know, dig into all the specifics of how the CLI works. Uh, and on that note as well, uh, we happily accept pull requests or if there is an issue, uh, that's a good place to reach us. We actively work with the community on issues or improvements. And so if there's something you want to see uh, in the CLI or something that's missing, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, I think that's... Um... That's a great nod that it is open source, and so we we get a lot of participation, a lot of questions, and a lot of uh, contributions from the community. And we imagine as Nexus grows and as the the use of the CLI continues to grow, um, we'll see more of that. Encourage that, and um, you know, try to build as much as possible um, in the open. And the CLI is no exception to that. So um, I think that's an important point to make, um, and probably a good place to end our chat today. Um, and uh, Hopefully, with words of encouragement to for everyone to uh, try the CLI if you haven't yet, and uh, connect to Nexus, um, and just give it a shot. Awesome! Yeah, thank you so Thanks much, Riaz, for joining. I appreciate your time. Of course, thank All you. Right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.